here is another time to encounter God through His Word. So as you're about to listen to this message, I encourage you, don't be distracted. Just pay attention and I know that God is going to visit you and meet you at the point of your name. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. We have refused the suffering of Jesus as a part of the gospel. That's why we are raising criminals and crooks now as ministers of God. And that's why the fear of God is no longer in our generation. Because 90% of what people do now in the name of God is for their belly. The Christianity we're taught is the Christianity of using God to meet our needs. That's why our miracle services are packed but our vigils are scanty. Because anyone that does not translate to immediate gratification, we are not there. And this is why many heavy matters of the kingdom is withdrawn from many and from many generations. Because only those who can accept his suffering can bear great mandates and great ordinations. Because great ordinations come with great trials and great persecution. If you are not trained to withstand his suffering and persecutions for Christ, you cannot bear great mandates. Philippians, 3 verse 10. See Paul's prayer. He said that I may know him. This is a man praying. And the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering that I may be made conformable unto his death. Have you prayed like this since you became a Christian? Have you prayed to suffer with Christ and for Christ since you became a Christian? Because we were taught wrongly. Acts 5 verse 41. He said when the apostles were flogged they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. People are celebrating not because they received the miracle so they were giving testimony in service and what is the testimony me too I have joined those who are privileged to suffer on the behalf of Jesus what did they know let me show you reasons why suffering is very paramount in the Christian faith number one suffering produces perfection because therein is the school of patience instituted Romans 6 verse 3 and seven he said know ye not that so many of us that were baptized into jesus christ were baptized into his death in verse seven see what he said for he that is dead is free from sinning this type of death is not just to confess that you were dead with him it's to carry your cross and follow him that's why first peter 4 1 said he that has suffered in the flesh have ceased from sinning if we cannot endure reproach for jesus can we endure the tauntings of the flesh in order to live right so there is a perfection that only suffering brings that's why the bible said when you are persecuted count it all joy diverse trials purify you he said gold that is not as worthy as your faith is tried by fire how do you think you will not go through diverse trials the second purpose of suffering is to help you win christ philippians 3 8 when you see people who have god as if they are one there is a price they have paid in standing for god and swearing their allegiance they say yeah doubtless i count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of jesus christ my lord for whom i have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that i may win christ a man who cannot endure suffering cannot win christ you can't have a relationship with jesus where jesus is yours and you are his because you will always have a price for which you'll be negotiated and the final reason for suffering is so that you can inherit glory Romans 8 17 he says, if we are children we are heirs and heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ if so be that we suffer with him that we may be glorified together with him first Peter 4 13 and 14 but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with exceeding joy if ye be reproached for the name of Christ happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you on their part is evil spoken but on your part is glorified. I'm telling you why we don't carry the level of weight and witness that the first fathers carried. Our Christianity is for pleasure, it's for self preservation, it's for self aggrandizement. And that is why, although we say very big things, but the fear of God is not on our life. The glory of God is not on our life. In the days of the patriarch, a man can walk to a king and tell him, This is what God said. He doesn't care if he will die. But you will see dimensions of God's jealousy that backs that man up. You will know that God is still with men. We have removed persecution and suffering from our Christianity. We are the men who can die for their faith. They are no more. That's why even the little, little things that we should do, we can't do. Go out to win souls. People can't come. Have a vigil. They can't come. Fast. They can't fast. A man who cannot fast from morning till 3 p.m. Is that the man that will go to prison for the gospel? And because we know it's not working, we now remove fasting, remove prayer, remove evangelism, and replace it with drama service. And we bring comedians so that it looks as if things are happening. So we are substituting the things that carry the signature of God and replacing them with carnality. In the days of the fathers, if they come for vigil, there's no keyboard. They clap their hands, worship, 
and pray 6 to 6. Nowadays, VG begin from 12 to 3 a.m. What kind of VG is that? Because there's no stamina. You can't find men who can travel. Christianity has to be pleasure. No stamina. And this 12 to 3 VG, we will stop it three times. Sing long songs to buy time. And if possible, give a little charge so that we will buy time. This is a generation that want to carry the glory. Do you know the level of glory you need to carry for a city to bow to you? A city. Do you know the princes that dwell there? If they come, they will check your flesh. If there's anything they can interact with, they will pull you down. This is why suffering is one of the markers of those who can bear the witness of the last day. If that is not part of your badge, then you are not part of the witness of the last day. Thank